According to statistics, 65% of the elderly in America feel lonely when having to carry out daily activities on their own, and the demand for service robots is expected to grow by 17% annually until 2025. While Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 has a complete structure of up to 99.9% .9 and the movement speed is 70% faster than the last generation. So how Tesla Optimus emerges as a frontrunner in meeting these increasing needs? And why is this next-gen breakthrough poised to reshape the future of robotics? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 2,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. What is Optimus's potential to all of humanity? Tesla Optimus will not only be a useful tool in performing daily household tasks, but can also play a role in caring for the elderly and people with disabilities. They will definitely become the intimate friends that are indispensable for the old. According to a study by the Institute for Family and Social Research, with smart home control and the ability to perform tasks such as dropping off, picking up items, helping with cleaning, shopping, preparing dinners, and even knitting, doing yoga such as squats and dancing in the next year, Tesla Bot can help reduce feelings of loneliness and increase independence for seniors. At the same time, in taking care of people with disabilities, it can assist in transportation and provide necessary daily support just in a short period of time without caregivers. With this diverse and flexible capabilities of Optimus Gen 3, it also opened up many opportunities in the industrial and commercial sectors. For particular, in the manufacturing industry, it can be used to perform repetitive tasks that require precision and durability, increasing efficiency and reducing labor costs. According to the Association of Industrial Robotics, Using robots in manufacturing can reduce labor costs by up to 16%. Recently, Tesla has released a new video of Optimus Gen 2 in the company's facilities. The video featured the humanoid robot performing several tasks in a factory setting, including those that require precise tasks like moving batteries. It is estimated that Tesla bots could be deployed in Tesla factories to perform repetitive tasks like assembling components, potentially increasing production capacity by 10 to 20 percent. This could lead to an additional 100,000 to 200,000 vehicles produced annually based on 2023 figures. Moreover, Tesla bots could assist technicians in service centers, performing tasks like diagnostics, parts retrieval, and even some repairs, potentially reducing service times by 20 to 30 percent with high accuracy. In addition, Tesla Bot can also be applied in the service industry, such as in the hotel and tourism sectors, to provide more dedicated and efficient service to customers. In a comment about the Optimus video, NVIDIA Senior Research Manager and Lead of Embodied AI, Jim Fan noted that Optimus's hands are among the best in the industry. Optimus hands are among the best five-finger dexterous robot hands in the world. It's got tactile sensing. 11 degrees of freedom compared to many competitors with only 6 to 7 degrees of freedom, and robustness to withstand lots of object interactions without constant maintenance. Elon Musk once stated that the Tesla bot could help address the labor shortage, as the humanoid machine could perform tasks that are boring, repetitive, and dangerous for human workers. He also noted that Optimus is designed to be a mass market product, thus, it would be low priced accordingly. The CEO estimates that Optimus would cost less than the company's electric cars, or about less than $20,000, and open a huge, effective working market. How will Tesla's Gen 3 robots be equipped with the most cutting-edge artificial intelligence, which will allow them to perform tasks autonomously and adapt to new challenges without human intervention? Elon Musk revealed that they developed some custom actuators and sensors, and essentially use the Tesla full self-driving, or autopilot, or just generally speaking, real-world navigation AI for this humanoid robot. More interestingly, Tesla Optimus is also equipped with a series of advanced artificial intelligence features, helping it adapt and operate effectively in real environments, including deep learning. Tesla Optimus uses deep neural networks to process complex data 
and learn from patterns. It can learn to recognize and classify objects and behaviors from image or video data. Reinforcement learning, an important feature that helps Optimus improve its performance through interaction with the environment. For example, when performing a task such as moving in a complex environment, a bot can learn from environmental feedback and adjust its actions to achieve the desired goal. Natural language processing. Optimus is capable of understanding and interacting with humans through natural language. For example, it can understand requests, commands, or even capture emotions and intentions in human speech. Interactive capabilities. Bots have the ability to interact with the surrounding environment and other software or devices can automatically operate and control devices or even work alongside humans in a collaborative work environment. Integration with Real Data and Internet of Things Networks Optimus is capable of connecting and interacting with smart devices and IoT networks. For example, it can automatically control smart home devices, security systems, or even self-driving vehicles. In terms of machine learning, Tesla Bot has incredible machine learning capabilities, reaching high levels thanks to the use of advanced technologies such as deep learning and reinforcement learning. This learning machine can self-adjust and improve its capabilities through collecting data from its surroundings and from real-life experience. It can develop new skills, meet specific needs, and adapt to different situations. The machine learning capabilities of the Optimus can be viewed as a form of artificial intelligence that can evolve with time and experience. In addition to the great progress we have learned, Tesla is not only stopping at low-priced humanoid robots, we will witness a new era of vehicles when Tesla hints it plans to build an affordable Model 2 that everyone can own. Why is cutting the cost of the Model 2's powertrain important to Tesla's strategy? After successfully reducing the drivetrain costs in previous generations, Tesla is capitalizing on the benefits of this success and applying it to the Model 2. The company is developing a new, more affordable drivetrain system that will use 75% fewer silicon carbide MOSFETs. Tesla expects to reduce the cost of the Model 2's drivetrain by approximately $1,000, resulting in an estimated 40% overall manufacturing cost savings. This strategy, while slightly unconventional, makes perfect sense given the challenges faced by the company and is expected to be a game changer in the affordable EV market. In our next powertrain, so those silicon carbide transistors that I mentioned that are key component but expensive, we figured out a way to use 75% less without compromising the performance or the efficiency of the car. Yeah, silicon carbide expensive, but it has significant advantages over traditional silicon, including the ability to operate at twice the temperature improved cooling efficiency, and reduced power loss. Silicon carbide also allows for higher switching frequencies, which reduces the size and weight of electronic components. Additionally, silicon carbide helps minimize energy loss during power conversion, improving the overall efficiency of the drive system. However, silicon carbide MOSFETs are about twice as expensive as traditional silicon MOSFETs. According to estimates from relevant agencies, the cost of silicon carbide MOSFETs is $280 higher than traditional silicon. On the Model 3, Tesla uses up to 48 silicon carbide MOSFETs at a cost of about $700 per inverter. However, with the Model 2, the company reduced the number of silicon carbide MOSFETs by 75%, using only about 12 silicon carbide MOSFETs instead of 48, resulting in a direct cost reduction from $700 to $175 for the silicon carbide MOSFET component. Combined with the $280 savings in materials, we can see that Tesla saves approximately $1,000 per Model 2 using the strategy. Another key reason Tesla might choose to step back and revert to using more silicon in place of silicon carbide is the challenge of securing a stable and reliable supply of silicon carbide components. Tesla plans to produce the Model 2 in volumes larger than all of its previous vehicles combined, and the current shortage of silicon carbide substrates and available device capacity is a significant hurdle. Although there have been announcements regarding capacity expansion and new investments in the industry, it will take years for these developments to materialize. Therefore, Tesla may return to using more silicon-based systems in its drivetrain in the short term. Our estimates suggest that an average vehicle globally might have an engine power of around 100 kilowatts and a battery capacity of 30 to 50 kilowatt hours. 
whereas Tesla's new platform could reach 150. Cutting back on silicon carbide could save approximately $150 to $300 for the Model 2 compared to using a completely silicon-based system. By reducing the number of silicon carbide MOSFETs, the Model 2 achieves near-identical output power compared to the Model 3, which was tested at 211 kilowatts, while improving efficiency from 92% to 94%. The Model 2 uses less energy to achieve the same output power, which means it can provide more power with less energy consumption. This enhances the overall energy efficiency of the vehicle, extending its range per charge and reducing its environmental impact. Perhaps the most impressive aspect is the Model 2's acceleration, which can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds, faster than most other vehicles in its class, which typically take around 4.5 seconds. Additionally, the vehicle's range has been increased to 270 miles compared to the 250 miles of previous versions. To learn more about the factors affecting the Model 2's range, you can check out the content we covered in our previous episode. Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So, how does Model 2 maintain performance after cutting silicon carbide? Tesla has successfully transitioned its technology by significantly reducing the silicon carbide content in its drivetrain by 75% while maintaining stable rated power. Leveraging the latest specialized design technologies, Tesla has developed an intelligent drivetrain system that optimizes performance while minimizing the use of costly materials. As a result, the Model 2 becomes an exceptionally cost-effective vehicle, without compromising on performance, aligning perfectly with Tesla's goal to reduce costs without sacrificing quality. Rather than using two parallel MOSFETs to share the 200-amp current load, Tesla's research team optimized the system by increasing the power of each MOSFET from 50 amps to 100 amps. This not only reduces the number of components, but also minimizes power losses due to connections between the MOSFETs. When two MOSFETs operate in parallel, an uneven load distribution can occur, leading to energy losses and a potential 15% reduction in efficiency. Using a single MOSFET eliminates this issue thus improving the overall efficiency of the drivetrain system. For the Model 2, Tesla will adopt a hybrid approach, combining both silicon carbide and traditional silicon to optimize performance and cost. This is not a new approach, as Tesla has used a similar method in its dual-motor models. Specifically, Tesla's dual-motor models utilize a primary silicon carbide-based inverter to supply power for the majority of the driving cycle especially at lower speeds or during cruising. A secondary silicon-based inverter is activated only when additional power is needed, such as during rapid acceleration or heavy towing. However, the secondary inverter operates only for a small portion of the driving cycle, so its lower efficiency has a minimal impact on overall performance and vehicle range. This allows Tesla to maintain the benefits of silicon carbide for efficiency and cost savings while using silicon to meet power demands in specific situations, thus optimizing performance and reducing costs. Therefore, silicon is sufficient for the secondary inverter. For example, if Tesla uses a 100 kW silicon carbide primary inverter and a 50 kW silicon secondary inverter, silicon carbide usage would be reduced by approximately 55% compared to the current 225 kW platform. Further reductions in mold size driven by improved device design and more efficient inverter designs, will allow Tesla to easily achieve a 75% reduction overall. What's more, the primary inverter for the Model 2 will use 12 silicon carbide chips, providing a total power output of 80 kV amperes. While this is only half the number of chips used in Tesla's larger models, each chip is about 50% larger than before and requires more wafers to produce the same number of chips. This change helps optimize the use of space and power while minimizing component count and reducing production costs. Although the power is lower, 80 kV amperes is more than enough to meet the needs of an urban electric vehicle, ensuring a balance between performance and cost efficiency. While earlier Tesla models used inverters with half-bridge rectifiers for each phase, the Model 3 and Model Y feature more advanced systems with 24 silicon carbide devices, 
each containing two silicon carbide chips, totaling 48 silicon carbide devices. This allows the system to manage up to 400 amps at 400 volts, delivering up to 160 kilovolt amperes of power, achieving high performance and robust operational capabilities. Additionally, increasing the power of each MOSVT reduces the number of wafers required, which further lowers production costs and reduces periodic testing costs. The silicon carbide substrates are enlarged by 50%, allowing for higher current handling per MOSFET, which enhances power distribution efficiency and makes the system both reliable. We hope you get the most enjoyment out of watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any upcoming awesome videos. We appreciate your feedback and time. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.